warms up with temperatures hitting record breaking heat. You can expect to see a lot of people on the lake. The 10 mile Butler hike and bike trail surrounds Ladybird Lake and attracts about 5 million people a year. Now there are several entry points off the trail just to get into the water, but some are making their own path. And as our Sally Hernandez found out, that's creating a major problem that could ruin the trail. And so you're concerned about something that um, is affecting the trail that has to do with erosion. What's the problem? So erosion is definitely uh, a concern of ours. Um, you know, the primary reason erosion happens um, is between the trail and the water. And it happens when people are kind of creating informal access points uh, to the water. Um, you know, we have eight official entry um, points along the trail that are stabilized and safe for people to access the water. So that's really the biggest thing for us. I mean, I think the, the water is one of the biggest draws that we have in the city, right? It's hot, people wanna get out, they wanna get on the water. And I think, um, we don't think it's intentional, right? You're on the trail, you see the water, you wanna get in, or you, don't, you maybe don't wanna carry your kayak that far. What is the danger when somebody makes access to the water and it's not on a, a a path that has been approved? So I think there's a couple things. Um, one is just the, the overall erosion of the shoreline itself. We love the trail. Um, essentially, the hazards can also be poison ivy. You're walking into a woodland, you don't know what you're gonna find. And then the heat of the summer, there's also um, algae that forms on the edges of the lake um, in areas that aren't trafficked very much. So. Really, it's it's not only for um, the environment, but also for for trail user safety to really stick to the formal access points. So, Grady, what happens if people do not preserve the trail? What's going to happen in the long run? I mean, I think um, there's a couple things that will happen. Um, one, we'll see more erosion. Um, the trail itself will be less resilient, but that's why. Um, you know, we we partner with the city to help work on stabilizing the trail and the shoreline itself. So, um, you know, the only the other thing we want to say is join us at the Trail Conservancy. You know, we have a lot of ways um, that the community can get involved, such as volunteering, um, can become a member, make a donation. OK, we'll link it to our website at KXAN.com. Thanks again for joining us. Yeah, thank you.